Afternoon, Commissioner. All right, so we're going to go over some things that are going on with Schleza, as well as the second division and the Premier League, and then we'll talk about the national team. And then um, that should catch us up with what's been going on over here. So let's jump right in to the FM space here. Last time we left off with Schleza, we drew Polonia Bittum a nil-nil. Since then, we've, uh, you know, continued in a pretty good run of form. We beat Ribnik 3-1. Pretty solid all-around performance. They're not a very good side. Neither is uh, Stahl Berzig. We won that one 4-0 away. This one, first FA Cup match in my history, and it was not a fun game. Sometimes FM makes you earn it a little bit. This was one of those games because this gentleman, Slavomir Musialik, who we picked up, is a pretty good right winger. This is where we're playing him. Um, you know, we've only brought him in as a sub because Pizarchuk, that's kind of his spot locked down. We decided to give Musialik the old start in the FA Cup and he goes ahead and gets sent off, you know, in the, what is that, 18th minute. So, sorry, there's a glare on my screen over there. So we had to fight back. We did everything we could and we ended up fighting back, scoring a goal in the 90th minute to send it to extra time and then scoring again, you know, after they, they scored a goal, we scored a goal, sent it off to penalties, and then we were able to scrape one against this fourth division side that doesn't even have a badge. So we worked for it, but we got it with 10 men pretty much the entire game. Uh, then after that, we laid down and played terrible in the next game. Two to three is kind of flattering. It was just a wide open game. So many chances, they could have scored probably five or six goals in this one. So that's our first loss of the season. Pretty bad performance. But turned it around against Yastrebia. 2-0. Uh, Two early goals. Good win for us. And uh, the next game is against Piast Zmigrod, who's currently second in the table. And as of right now, the table looks like a three-horse race. Right now, two-horse if we can't get a result off. Schmigrad. Uh, yeah, they're both on 25 points. We're on 20. You can see the goal difference differential between us three and the rest of the table, kind of. So we're all kind of pulling away. Our goal, obviously, is one of these top two spots. So this next upcoming match is pretty important. That's the second division and action with Schleza. Uh, we go up to the Premier League and take a look at that. Schlask Wrocław is in the lead on 20 points. Off to a pretty good start. Miej Lignica is in second place. That's our FA Cup draw for the next round. So that's going to be a pretty tough one. Followed by Zagwebia Lubin, Rukhortsov, and the rest you see. Pios down a little bit lower than you would expect. Also Goran Zabergé, and especially Bonico Strava has not been off to a flying start. They do have a game in hand, but that's the current Premier League table. We can take a look at the uh, European contenders and how they fared. Bonico Strava was in the Europa League. They were our top contender. They got off to a bad start. They had to play Slavia Prague. They drop down in and play Domzala, who's from Slovenia. And over two legs, they were able to beat them and get into the Europa Conference League groups. So that's okay. That's not bad. So they've got a few matches. You know, it looks like they've won one. They beat Shamrock Rovers. They lost to Osasuna. Eintracht Frankfurt, they play a couple times. Oh yeah, it's still group set up this season. So chance of them qualifying is pretty tough, you know, or they can pull points off Eintracht Frankfurt or Osasuna. Probably not, so just a couple wins off of Shamrock Rovers might get us a few more coefficient points, but that's the uh, Europa League contender. The two Conference League contenders were Schlossk, Trotzwaff, who bombed out in the first qualifying round against Dynamo Batumi from Georgia. So that's not good. They did pick up a draw, but they're out. 
and Piast Klavica, who managed to beat this team from North Macedonia, Tedovo. Then they moved on to Europa FC, where they got another win. And then Hapoel Beara Sheva from Israel was the team to knock them out of contention in the third qualifying round to make it in the group stage. So Bonaco Strava is the only surviving team that can continue getting us points in the coefficient race. So if we drop ourselves all the way down to the bottom where we're starting, we got the four gifted points to us and we're currently sitting on three this season. So you can see the, the nations around us, obviously they weren't faring very well. So we're gonna jump a little bit. If we look at it so far, we should pick up a few more points as well through Bonaco Strava. But that brings us to, what is that? 48th position. And obviously this doesn't matter until we hit, you know, here-ish you know, 38th position. So it's going to take a couple seasons until we can get the ball rolling in Europe. So hopefully by that point, Schleza is, you know, contending for titles and then we can start contributing to your uh, European coefficients as well. But so that's the club kind of situation in Silesia. Promising. Not great, kind of disappointing with the performances from Schlosk and Glavica, but and Bonaco Strava, to be honest. But it's going to be a slow build here, so it is what it is. And if we go into the national team, obviously the schedule coming up is Northern Ireland and Slovenia. Uh, today is squad selection day, so I'm just going to finish that up, and I'll submit that and send you an email off once that's done. Or I'll probably have Mindy here send you off an email. But two away matches, we go to Northern Ireland, Windsor Park, and then we go to Slovenia. Here's the table. We're at the top. 13 points. Finland's just behind us at 11. Slovenia in third. Denmark in fourth after we beat them. Uh, Northern Ireland in fifth. And San Marino, obviously, at the bottom. I think this is a really good opportunity for us. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to get as many results or as many points as we could off of these next two games because of what's been going on injury-wise. So Camille Grabara, our starting goalkeeper, is going to miss both games. I haven't called him up, even though it was a possibility he could be back within six days. He's out with pulled ankle ligaments. But we do have good goalkeepers. Yuri Pavlenka can jump in and start for us. He's my number two as of right now. And then Wukash Skorupski can also fill in pretty well too. So we don't drop off too much losing Grabara. It does hurt though. But I don't plan on calling him up and then risking him. So, so he's out. I think a bigger issue is that Piotr Zelinski, who I would argue is our best player, is out for four to seven weeks with a torn hamstring. So that really weakens us. He could potentially make it back for the Finland game. Or maybe just the San Marino game, or maybe not play at all. So that injury really sucks. And also, he's our vice captain. Oh, and also our captain, Christoph Piatek, is going to miss the next two games. About 10 days to three weeks with a twisted ankle. So that begs to question, are we even going to change up our tactic? Which right now I have Artaj Bialik coming in to start. But we'll see if we end up doing something like this. But... Anyways, that's, um, oh, and there's also obviously one more injury, which is carried in, which is Jakob Kaminsky, who's still out and going to be out for the remainder of qualifiers. Six weeks to four months now, he broke his ankle, so that really hurts us in the winger category. 
And that's the national team situation. So we're in a great position. Beating Denmark really set us up. But, man, that really hurts. So that's where we're at. That's the, that's the updates. Next up, obviously, is just the game against Pia Schmigrod, but that's all I have, sir. Do you uh, have any questions you have for me, sir? Okay, thanks. And we pick up things here in the 38th minute in this match between the Schleza and Piast Zmigrod. It's nil-nil. Schleza on the attack. Murat Wojciechowski finds Tragic in the box, takes a shot, and it's tipped wide. That is a fine stop indeed. Out for a Schleza corner. Serpina, the left back, with the in swinger. Finds the head of a defender. Schleza cycle it around. Trying to work space here. Can't really find anything. It's been a tight, cagey affair thus far. Gabriel Alfonso on the right wing now. Finds Tracic. Tracic now. Playing through Murat, his center midfield partner. And they reset. Just 30 seconds to go here in this first half. It's been a close game. Not too many opportunities presented themselves so far. Orginiak, the left winger. Finds Tragic in the middle of the park. Tries to make something work. Horesh! Horesh takes a shot. It's Zabielski, the Zmigrod goalkeeper, making the nice save there. Couple good chances here for Schleza. Nothing yet has found the back of the net. And that's going to bring us to the end of the first half. And we're set to get the second half underway. Schleza here in possession. Through their center back, Warana. Another attacking corner. This time through Colossa, the substitute at halftime at left back. With his in swinger. Ends up at Magdiak. Oh, heads it down. Oh, it ends up back at Magdiak. And he misses the shot wide. I don't know if the first one was saved by the goalkeeper or went off the post, but either way, a couple chances go begging. And we are still scoreless here. Piast Zmigrod has not created much of anything. It's 0.5 XG. They are on the attacking corner here. So it looks like we're going to get a couple changes from the Schleza head man. Bringing on a striker, Marchevka for the Ukrainian Haresh. Zmigorod. In a decent position. Shot blocked, though. And they are away with it through Musialik. Counterattack. Looks like it peters out there. Couple more tactical tweaks from the Schleza boss, and we're underway. Marchevko with the ball. Pizarchuk, Musialik. Schleza plays the ball over the top. Watch Yachowski. Looks like he's injured there. Fouled, rather, by the center back, and it is a penalty. It's going to be the right winger. Pizarchuk, number two, steps up to the spot right down the middle. It's a goal. 1-0 Schleza. The penalty through Robert Pizarchuk. 
lifts Schleza up into the ascendancy. And they'll climb the table with this. This result will hold. They needed this one. Well, Polonia Bittem or Pierre Jemigurov were able to get away. Polonia Bittem losing in their match 2-0 to nothing to record BB. See if Schleza can build on this lead or maintain it over the course of the next 20 minutes. Marchevka, tragic, plays it to the left wing. Warzhiniak. Kolosinow. Demirat, tragic. Finds a good ball into Marchevka. Should have hit the back of the net. It's a goal kick. He shot it way over off of his unfavored left. Probably could have let that run to his right and just slotted it in, but that's a miss for Marchevka. Still has yet to score for Schleza. Piast Zmigorod on the attacking corner now. They have not really produced much of anything, these league leaders. Oh, man falls down. Uh oh, that ends up in the back of the net, though. Goblovsky, but it won't count. He's offside. Looks like a foul there, or maybe a dive. Ends up at Neorovsky. Tries to play in the striker, who is just standing there in an offside position. So still 1-0 here. Schleza need to be tidy here on the defensive end if they want to come away with all three points. Petr Musialik tries to head it away. Back to the corner taker, drives inside, and the shot is saved by Sobolevsky. The backup goalkeeper who's been forced into the action here for the past couple matches since the injury to the starting keeper, Nowak. He's done a decent, if not spectacular job. Especially if they can come away with the clean sheet here. Ball forward, Koloski collects. Excuse me, Soboleski collects. Eighty-fourth minute, free kick in, and Soboleski grabs that one as well. Does a good job to claim the ball, and they play it forward. Chevka on the chase can't get there, but Tragic's there through Marchevka the right winger Musialik, Pizarchuk, who's moved back. Wachichowski got the shot off on his left foot on the early bounce, but Zabilski is there, grabs a hold of it, and sends his team down the field. Looks like Strecker there was coming back from an offside position and is whistled for it. Schleza with the ball now. Orzhiniak can he get the ball inside, cuts inside himself. Takes the shot, can't curl it. And we're getting back-to-back -back action here as this game is heating up. Both teams really pushing for that final result. Quick play here by Schleza. The crowd love it. Musialik. Through Markchevka. We find a ball to Tracic, Murat. Looking for numbers, Musialik now, they turn. They get a cross in from this position. Patient play here from Slesia. The header! It was Warzuniak, the header ended up wide. 89th minute. And we're gonna get a couple more changes here from the Schleza boss. Takes out the starting striker, Wojciechowski. For the lone man, Chelinski drops Warzhiniak back to an inverted winger, more even with the rest of his midfield line, and some time wasting should get the job done. Marchev guys in all zone, takes a shot. And with 30 seconds left, 
This looks like it might be the end of the game here. We're going to see a little time wasting. Colossus got the corner. Takes it. Back to Chalinski. Hangs on to it. Colossa crosses in. Musialik takes a shot. Nothing doing there. Warzhiniak. Ball creams off him. Out for a goal kick. And this one ends one to nothing. Schleza. They've overcome Piash Migrod. This helps massively in the table. Until next time. Thanks for joining us in Silesia.